Well, Steve, we have uh, General Hospital's new man toy. Man toy? Man toy, that's a weird thing to say. I don't know if that's a great man intro to- at all. So let's start that, start, <laughs> that, start that over, Bradford. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, I've, I've, because I've been spending a lot of, a lot of my scenes have been with this guy, and my character That's has a very awesome. strong um, point of view on this fellow, which is fun for me. Um, but so we have Josh Kelly. He plays Cody Bell on General Hospital. Hey, man. Welcome, hey, man Josh. Toy. Man toy. <laughs> What's up, brother? How are you, man? Dude, it's uh, I'm not, I'm try, I'm gonna try not to fan fanboy too much. I, I've, I'm not kidding. Uh, big fan of both of you guys work like oh uh, thanks dude um i'm a fan of your shirt oh well i apologize for that no 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 so okay so (laughs) this is primarily an audio medium right podcast people listen to first we do have a youtube page that these end up on at some point so people will be able to enjoy the the visuals of you in this beautiful i mean hawaiian shirt like when i i there's something that the New York in the background with the Hawaii in the front. It's just a perfect mix for me. It's like tropical New York. And that, I mean, that's, that's awesome. a vibe. That's a vibe. I actually, well, well, I mean, there's a long story behind that, but the, uh, yeah, the New York uh, backdrop was uh, because, uh, because of actually one life to live. I missed New York a little bit. And I, I love LA more to be honest, no offense, New York, but uh and I missed it in LA. And so I, I, I did, and I actually paint it's, it's painted in glow in the dark stuff. So at night, oh, that's awesome. It does. It does kind of, it does look more like a New York skyline. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's cool. pretty cool. Is it like green, like light up or is it like, does it glow? It's natural I, colors. Do you I know what I'm saying? I, I, I got real as as artsy fartsy as i can i can be and i i got <laughs> i did some blues and some i did a whole bunch oh that's wow. awesome dude yeah well, man you gotta um, make your little hobbit hole as, as good as you can you know yeah Absolutely. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, hey, so- how long ago how long ago was one life since we're just talking about that we might as well just was that were you kind of in your early 20s then or uh well a, a gentleman never asks and a gentleman a gentleman never tells. <laughs> uh, no uh i was uh no i, I was uh 28 i think it was oh, awesome man it was a while ago um <laughs> what wasn't that that wasn't that long ago i mean come yeah. on it wasn't that long ago but you know I'm, I, I was looking through you know because we try to do a little research not a lot by the way but we try to do a little and I'm reading through, and I'm I'm seeing all your credits, and then I then I see Army Ranger. I'm like, now what? Now we're talking. Like this is amazing. Like I got yeah, so well, excited, Josh, because all I heard about you was from Bradford. Like, oh Josh, 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 Josh. Like all on the road. Oh Josh is my new best friend. Oh I love Josh. I'm like, okay, great. Josh, I'm sure is an awesome guy. Like that's really cool. But then I'm reading the IMDb or whatever it was, Wiki, and I go army ranger now i know why he loves you because that's dude that's incredible man thank you for well, doing that by the way th- yeah. well it was that's honestly amazing. it was thank you um yeah that's a lot that's a big deal man so well maybe i i, I was going to ask about what you've been doing on your three-week break summer break from gh but well screw that let's go right back to the beginning because uh i know <clears throat> i mean you were you were born i think you were born in japan so just kind of give us the get, t- take us from the beginning and and then we'll catch up to where we are now and and then we can uh but very curious about uh your your road to gh because it was long and winding i think um yeah all right well i was yeah i mean i was born in japan uh my dad was in in the navy uh i uh, like career navy guy yeah yeah okay uh 30 years wow i or well 30 30 plus and uh yeah i I mean i i grew up mostly on the east coast um i always wanted to be an actor because macaulay culkin was super like popular and i had like blonde hair like him and i wanted to be an actor but my parents were like you're not not until high school's over and uh and uh and then so you, did you, was it just home alone? You're just like, I want to, I want to be, I want to have fun. It looks fun. Like I want to be on well, in a movie like that. Or was it, were you watching my girl and you're like, like, I want to, I want to, I want to have a, a tough death. He, he, he just, uh, I, I don't know. He, he, 
Well, he hosted. No, honestly, he hosted Saturday Night Live when he was like, right. and he was my age. Like I was right. like, I was like, mom, dad. And they, were like, they were like, no, we don't. You gotta be. You gotta at right. least have high school. Right. Um, and then, uh, and then I just, uh, yeah. I mean, my my road to G. I always did theater. I did. I I did a play when I was three, and I I always did theater i love right i love performing um, sure and what were what opportunities were there in maryland obviously you got started at three so there was plenty of opportunities no my well my both of my parents worked so the, there was no real like auditioning then and i uh i don't blame but, them i'm actually yeah. really glad that they didn't make me or allow me to <laughs> to be a child actor <laughs> nothing against child actors i've just dated too many of them <laughs> well <laughs> Former, <laughs> many former child actors. Right, I was gonna say. Let's, let's, yeah. let's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so, what were you into as a kid then? If it wasn't doing like community or school theater, um, you know, I I I I I, mean, I played sports. Uh, I, I played sports and and I did science projects and stuff. Okay, but. So were you keen to follow in your father's footsteps? Like, were you like, oh, I'll probably go in, like military is something that's going to happen to me probably, or it's something that I'll choose? Um, it was, uh, I, I joined the army so I could do action movies. Uh, I, uh, for real, I, for real? Yeah, for real, for real. Um, I, I wanted, I, I. How does that, what, how does yeah. that line up? I. In your head, action movies in your head? Or Spinelli, will you just <laughs> um, look, man? I, I I agree that it doesn't complete. I joined before 9/11. I didn't know we were going to war. Uh, I I I I loved Stallone. I actually got, I got to thank him. I was in uh, Bulgaria when I was doing Jarhead too, and I I literally like I was like, hey man, you're part of the reason I became an actor. You're part of the reason I joined the army. Uh, Thanks. You want to take a picture with my buddy? And, and <laughs> he That's was awesome. like, "Yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. It's better lighting over this way." Let's, uh, light yeah, I love that. It yeah. was it was pretty bad. I mean, yeah. I was I was way I would have been way too nervous before. But anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, honestly, I I wanted to. Uh, I mean, I think every boy, and probably I mean, I I can only speak for myself as being a boy but uh every boy needs to test his metal to like try and become a man in whatever way they can and uh i'm sure women go through a similar process but uh i i i think i needed it uh i was i was really into computer programming and i was really into uh arts and and i needed to know if i could do it uh, because I loved action movies. So, so when, when did you kind of, you know, obviously your, your dad was, a, you know, in the Navy, so you're familiar with the military your whole life, mm -hmm. but was there, was there a time when you were like there going, Oh, this is a little maybe different than I thought it was. Not really. Uh, I think, I think, I think having growing up around it, uh, familiarized me with it. My, both of my grandpa, both of my grandfathers were also in the army and so like it kind of it's less scary if i mean uh you know it's less scary when you've when you're around it uh there are right. some some people that I, I i've like been friends with that are in the soap world that started when they were kids and they are so less afraid of performing than and I, I'm like, I'm like, you guys, you guys have no idea how scary it was. Uh, they're like, yeah, well, I kind of started when I was five. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, if In you're just around anything, then it, I mean, you, you guys know, obviously I'm talking, I'm preaching, preaching to the heck of a heck of the choir. Not that you guys started out super young, but you can. Right. Uh, well, but, but I know, I, but it, no, it's no, interesting. I, I, I did start out young. I mean, I started when I was 16 years old. So, Jeez, you know, geez, I was, I was four, you know, you just thrown into the fire and you just learn, you know, I mean, that's, you don't have any choice. You like survive or you're done. Not you're kidding. Me, right? 
I, I do. I, I saw. I've I've watched you for a long time, Steve. <laughs> like, um, thanks, bro. So, yeah. when, so anyway, when you when you were in when you were in the service, did you like to go from just did you were you just enlisted or in, like yeah. how do you go from that to Army Ranger? That is that is that motivation on your part? Is that recruitment on their part? Like how how does that how does that happen? Um, there's a whole uh, well. Uh, Commander Kelly, my dad, my dad came and uh, made sure that I got the right contract uh, when I signed up. Uh, mm. so, I don't know anything about that. Well, that's, that's what re recruiters, they recruit you in and there's contracts, right? Yeah. And, and, and it's, everything's a business. Everything's a business. Uh, you know, follow the money uh, is, is, is the best way to like figure out if something's upsetting you or seems off just follow the money and 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 you can you can figure it out uh and that's pretty the army, they and and as they should they try to get you for as cheap as you are available um uh my dad came with me to my actually i swore my oath of enlistment to my father like he he was the one who swore me in like I wow swore, that's awesome it was it was really cool that's yeah. cool man. also it also made me like, cause me, me and one other guy in basic training, uh, one of my best friends, uh, we're the only two that made it into Ranger Battalion. Your, your question was, and I'm trying to answer, uh, yeah. uh, I have a bit of a spotty brain, but, uh, spread. Like, what, what was the transition from just, uh, you know, enlisting and then and then did you have the idea in your head that you're going to be a ranger for sure were you taking that route yeah well i knew i was only going to do it for four years uh okay. and i wanted to do like the recruiters <laughs> rambo rambo shit is what he yeah. said and i was like well yeah that's why i want to i want to i want to do, do that yeah um and uh, also i didn't want my parents to pay for college so uh you sign up, you do, you do basic training, then infantry school and which, and obviously if you, if you don't pass infantry school, then, then you're not in the army, but uh, <laughs> then you go, you go to airborne school. And if you don't pass that, you, you're still an airborne or you're an infantry man, but then you go to airborne school and then you go through what, when I went in, it was called uh, RIP, the Ranger Indoctrination Program. Uh, now it's called RASP, the Ranger Assessment Program. But it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it, it's difficult. But, and you guys can attest to this. It's like if you want to know how hard something is, ask someone who hasn't succeeded at it. Like if you want to know how hard it, how difficult it is to be an actor, talk to the people who are not you two. You talk to, you talk to people who've never been on camera but have like auditioned a whole bunch and like sure they'll let you know uh, like I, I everything's everything's difficult in this world uh but it's it's achievable i well, I, I mean it's yes hard i mean uh 92 percent of our class failed um but you guys definitely know that attrition rate is like i mean yeah yeah, it's, it's it's a lot. I, I I guess I get to say it's a lot like acting because I was in the army. But right, I, it is a lot like acting. It's <clears throat> arguably easier. But. I mean, you just have to have like just in anything else, right? You got to have great discipline, and you got to have great focus. Well, and and don't quit. You know, like that that was the biggest thing was that yeah. was for for you yeah what 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 do you think was your biggest driver in that moment to be successful through those stages i think a lot of it was the fact that my dad signed me up like like he didn't sign me up but i swore my oath i swore an oath of enlistment and i i promised to try my hardest and also i had wrestled i wrestled in high school and i think the wrestler mentality like changes mm -hmm. like if you're it, it it shows you what you can do yeah and a competitive nature too probably right that was that yeah there's like there's nothing tougher there's no tougher training than than high school wrestling <laughs> there's honestly i grew i grew up in a wrestling town and it was brutal bro it's, it's i've never seen tougher people in my entire life like it was li literally rubber it, suits and stuff right 
rubber it, rubber suits oh, yeah, yeah, these kids. crash bags to to school and you're yeah, kind of allowed to because they're like he's a wrestler he's got it he's that was a child i was a child <laughs> wearing trash bags under my clothes like that's Right. I don't know if that would be allowed now. I don't know if that's allowed now. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, so anyway, so you, you, so you made it through. You made it through to your your rip, or and you were ripped. Uh, I don't know if that. Uh, yeah. But and and then and and then what? And we don't have to talk. We're just fascinated by this because this is a world that's so di different from. Uh, Fine, so like you're gonna edit because this is gonna be a long. I mean, this is a long. All right. So let's let let like we're not. We don't want to. I like that you other. guys are fascinated with the stuff that I'm like. I'm like. I've I've watched both of you on TV for so long, and I'm 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 fat, like I'm like. Oh, okay, well then I guess tell us about the transition. Like, w at what point after those four years were you? Did you did you know as soon as you're like these when they, these four um, years are over, I'm going to be an actor, or when and or how long? What was that transition, and what did it look like? Uh, uh so uh, when uh when we so we we I my unit was I was I I was. I was in third range of battalion. So we were the first people to, to deploy after 9-11. Um, and so we did not have any MWR tents, which is meal uh, recreation. Like it's like the entertainment uh, tents. We didn't, we were literally living in holes and uh, looking for bin Laden in Pakistan. And uh, this is in 2001. This is uh, so crazy. Well, yeah, but um, I we were one of the one of the tech guys. We were there for two months. Well, we had been there in Pakistan for like two months, and one of the tech guys hooked up his computer. It sounds like a made up story. I promise this is a real story. <laughs> okay, great. Um, he hooked up his computer and we watched Night at the Roxbury, and it was the first movie we had seen. Yeah, in two months and I remember because I was a class clown in high school I was a class clown in eighth grade in Guam and like I remember I don't buy it I don't buy it <laughs> promise I'm funnier I'm funnier than I than I see <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I remember looking around and I don't know if you've ever if you guys have ever seen the movie Gulliver's Travels uh uh the, the made for TV I one with Ted Danson no, sorry, Sullivan's Travels, not Gulliver's. <laughs> okay. Sul Sullivan's Travels. It's about a, uh, it's a 1930 something. Uh, it, it, I think it might have won Best Picture. Um, Sullivan's Travels. It's about a producer who's upset because he wants to be respected and he only makes comedy. And uh, he, he ends up becoming a hobo and gets arrested. And anyways, it felt like that. I was like watching all of these other soldiers and i was like i was a private i was like young and i remember watching them watching night at the roxbury and i was like all right this is what i'm supposed to do i'm so i'm supposed to be the one making people laugh and and get away from like being unhappy when they're unhappy right that's quite that's a, that's a pretty beautiful realization it was cool. I mean, I was also I was the I was the skit guy in uh in Ranger Battalion, and they actually changed the rules. Uh, my my uh, platoon sergeant and my first sergeant uh, changed the rules so that because unfortunately for them, I actually was pretty good at also being a ranger. So I became a team leader, and your team leaders aren't supposed to be in charge of skits. They're it's like it's supposed to be for the <laughs> to make. Well, when of. you say skits, do you actually mean like? Yeah, you, you put on plays in the military like there's there's actually a lot of like there's a lot of i mean um uh that's what um what's the movie uh christmas uh christmas white, I, no. white oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. White Think... christmas is essentially it's a real thing like like levity bringing levity i, I learned so much about comedy and performing by being in very very weird scary scenarios <laughs> it's like well what else are we gonna do let's start laughing <laughs> wow, That's wow. Crazy, so ev man. every battalion has like a sketch comedy troupe built in <clears throat> yeah like no no it's not i i wish i mean <laughs> we're 
where I in charge of the range. Right. 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 Um, oh, wow. Okay. So, and that was, that was in the first, you enlisted in 2000 and then by 2001, you were in, in Pakistan? Right after high school. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we were, wow, I, I had just gotten in, I had done one complete training cycle. Uh, I've been in range of a time for nine months and then in. Two, yeah. Years. Yeah. So that, so how much longer did you have in your commitment before you could realize your dreams of being, you know, the entertainer to, to bring joy to the world? <clears throat> Try, try to bring joy. Well, you've succeeded, so I know. You are. Hey, dude, you're working, brother. Come on. You're bringing us, you're bringing us joy right now. I know. I, I love it. I, I, I love it. I love it. You're doing I'm it. Very happy with, with it. Um, uh, I, did, um, I did two uh, or three more years. Uh, I did uh, three more deployments. Uh, I... I did two more to Afghanistan. Well, one more to Afghanistan. Then we we did the Iraqi invasion. I parachuted into Iraq, uh, which is another good story if you guys ever want to yeah. hear that. But that's that's kind of a private story. It's fun. It's fun. Okay. I swear it's fun. Um, I mean, I guess we could tell. But and and then and then I did one final uh, deployment, a short one, like t- uh, like two months to Afghanistan, my fourth deployment. Wow. Well, wow, thank man. you. That's thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you for, for doing thank, that. Thank you for doing that. I I, I, I needed I, to I, grow up, and I needed to know that I don't. You know, you know, I yeah. Uh, it was a little, my my. Hey, you little, still. I mean, look, dude, you're still risking your life. You know, that's what you're doing. So, I mean, when it comes down to it, that's what you're doing. So, you know. Anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, um, let's talk about let's talk about some acting now. Let's so, talk so, about acting. Let's so, go. Let's talk you, about some acting. Come after on. your final deployment, and you're done. Your commitment's done what's the next line item it's like all right i'm done with that now what um i uh so i i went i went to my high school drama teacher and i asked him what theater school i should go to uh and he said you were good in high school now you have a bunch of uh real world experience uh Mm -hmm. if you want to be an actor don't get a degree (laughs) just because you will fall back on it if you if you have one um and interesting. interesting he yeah he was like moved to new york or la smart maybe chicago and just be an actor and um it's actually pretty cool like he like uh one of the leads in uh jurassic park she and i she and i did theater like we had a we had a pretty good like for maryland like we had a pretty good like theater program <laughs> Oh, oh, the girl that, you, that was just Wanda. in your Instagram photo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we, I, went to, we, I went to college with Bryce Howard. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, that's, well, that's we really... were in classes together. We're not in, in contact now, but like in terms of college friends in Jurassic Park, I have one too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, high school, we did, we did Shakespeare together. Uh, oh, awesome. And um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good program. And um, yeah, he was... He was, I mean, I was the only senior who took four years. I did four years of drama in high school. Um, whatever. I mean, uh, obviously yeah, then, I, I wanted to do it. I was right. Like, yeah, you were into it. What'd you do? Did you move to New York to start out? No, I moved or? to LA. I moved, uh, <laughs> sorry. I, thanks, yeah, for, thanks for, thank you, Steve, for getting me back on track. Um, hey, yeah. Is, I, you know. <laughs> I moved, uh, I moved, I, I actually called up, I was going to go to the American Academy of Dramatic, Dramatic Arts uh, because that was supported by the uh, GI Bill. So it could have been oh. paid for by that. So I was prepping to audition and I was essentially just asking anyone. And I called up one of my Ranger buddies that had moved to LA and he was like, F that, uh, just come out here. Um, I'll get you in acting classes. You don't want to, you don't want to, they, they don't let you, they don't let you work for two years and we got to get you. Uh, and yeah. Like, interesting. Which, I mean, I don't, I don't want, I don't know what it would have been like if I had, yeah. but I, instead I went to Playhouse West and. Um, okay. And well, that, uh, and that's how cool to have someone that had done that, like from like an <laughs> army buddy that had had, 
you know, because sometimes the the toughest thing when you're young is to be like, hey, I got I want to do something and but no one that I know has done it before. So how do I do it? And to sort of have someone that has done it before that that that's really cool. It's the best. I mean, yeah. that's, that's I mean. I was saying you got great advice, like because we've interviewed a lot of people and your and your drama teacher gave you great advice. Like and then your buddy gave you great advice. Yeah. Well, especially from your like, age and your experience. Like, yeah, I mean, that's correct. That's awesome. Yeah. Man. That's like, it's, that puts you right on the path, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's, uh, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm really, I mean, Mr. Rosen and John Falcone, two, two dudes that, that, uh, I, I will never not, uh, think about as giving, being sage, sages in my life. <laughs> Yeah. So what was that that transition to LA to to taking acting classes and and pursuing that? Uh, was that a bit of a a bit of a shock to the system, or was it just completely welcome? Like, oh, thank God, this is I'm California's for me. I get to wear my floral short shirts and like, <laughs> let's go. I it was it was well, I um I I I dove dove super deep i took every acting class i took every I, I like paid for like seminars to meet with casting directors to like figure awesome. out what i need to do how to do it um uh the pretty much the consensus was uh you if you lost some weight you could you could play uh leading man roles and i was like but i'm the funny fat guy and they were like <laughs> you, you you gotta be fatter or more funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, all right, well, so I, I lost. Oh, that's amazing. Well, what you gonna do? You know? Well, I, was, you know. I, was, I, was, I was the chubby guy in Ranger Battalion. Like it was, it's, I wasn't like, I wasn't private pile, but you know. <laughs> right. Well, you know I, what's interesting? That for that's a Ranger. <laughs> yeah. right. Well, I, I, that's, that's an interest. That's interesting for me to hear because you know, I, I, the things that I, I, I don't think I ever saw you on One Life, but we, we watched season one of Unreal, so I knew you from that, uh, and then, yeah, and so when you, when you, uh, and I can't, I'm excited to talk about that, because uh, uh, those, the two women that you worked with, I just, oh, please, please let them talk about it, it's all I hear about, what, oh, he was on Unreal, the season, and this and that, so just talk to Josh about it now on the podcast, please, okay, well, no, but, and, and in that and Constance, Sherry and Constance, they're both con yeah, unbelievable women. Like truth, like it was it was a really well done show. But in that in that show, you played like the the you were the cameraman, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. right. And yeah. but like kind of like you know rough around the edges, romantic lead kind of guy, right? Yeah. And then you come to our show, and I I see exactly what they're <laughs> trying to do with you, and in terms of like what what's what's what hole they want you to fill, right? Oh, like, oh, oh, calm down, bro. Calm down. All right. <laughs> calm down, dude. But you know, like how they're trying to type you, right? And then yeah. I get to then I get to know you a little bit, and I'm like, oh, <clears throat> this guy, this this is not his. He he doesn't see himself as this guy. Yeah, but right. What you do you know? But but in 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 like a in a wonderfully human way, not like in a yeah, oh, no, I'm but, not that guy. But like, so, Josh, so that's, yeah, I didn't, I didn't even know what to expect though, meeting you, right? Cause I, I, I've never met you, but. Me too. I, I, I hope I haven't fanboyed. I, I, I honest, I was, I was I, I, like, Brad, Bradford's been like, he's like, well, I'm friends with Steve. And I was like, yeah, I know Steve. <laughs> he was, <laughs> uh, I was like, <clears throat> I mean, honestly, man, I remember I like when General Hospital was the first was the only soap opera that my sister and I watched when when I was a kid, and not to age you, but uh, you were there. <laughs> I was, I was, I you was were, there. Yes, sir. It, it was because uh, you were you were sixteen when you started, so it was, you know, whatever. You were there in when I was watching in high school with my sister, and uh, and I mean, it's cool. So I, yeah, I, I'm gonna. World, I'm, I'm gonna. Worlds colliding. Yeah. No, but what I was gonna say is you have this. You have this great quality about you. Almost, it reminds me of Chris. You remind me of Chris Pratt in a way, where you're very charming and you and you know okay. you can be a. There you go. Where you can be a leading man, 
but you're also very funny and you have this charisma and this quality about you that, you know, is, is awesome. I mean, I think it's a, 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 I don't know what they're doing at general hospital because I don't watch, but you know, I hope they use this part of you because it's, it's like really endearing, you know, I'm I'm going to comic-con tomorrow uh, with my buddy, my buddy's got a show. uh, And so since I don't have to work next week, I'm going to comic-con as poor man's Chris Pratt. (laughs) <laughs> amazing that's amazing yeah. that's awesome man that that is funny well you know what's funny it's like when he was on parks and rec he like that's a role you could have played right like Could've. right and now he's yeah, playing he and you saw audition against each other and then i became friends with his wife uh because my ex-girlfriend was like best friends with her his ex-wife uh and she looked at me she was like we've hung out before and i was like we haven't she was like, this is on affairs. Uh, right. And I was like, I promise you, I would remember if you and I had hung out. And right. She's like, we had, and I was like, a lot of people think I remind them of your husband. And she was like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, eh, that's fine. He's taller. Yeah. He's taller. Right, but- he wrestled in high school. He, we drove the same car. We drove a Suzuki Samurai. Like that was our yeah. first car. Like <clears throat> we, he's he's a lovely awesome dude like well but obviously someone had the same conversation with him though that you explained in your acting classes where they're like hey if you want to be a leading man you can be in marvel movies yeah but do that but do this or great on chong right didn't she oh I, from i don't know i mean oh, yeah, I, I, didn't I, hear, I i i i did that's tangentially he honestly I was I was more friends with her uh, because he was he couldn't hang out. I just, I would just drink his beer because uh, he was <laughs> had to had to be skinny uh, for Jurassic. The first. Yeah, <laughs> right, sure. So, but it, but it, <laughs> vacation. Um. So vacation. all right. So yeah. So you're out in LA. You're dove headfirst into your training, and uh-huh. then when when did you? What was the opportunity that you were like, oh my God, I'm doing it? Like, what was that first thing where it you saw it pay off? Um, I did the my first TV series was it was a telenovela uh style show. Uh it was the lowest lowest rated primetime TV series in history at the time. Uh and it was called Desire. It was awesome. Um, I literally, I mean, I, I was, it was, we shot 65 episodes in three months. It was like, it was single camera. So it's not the same, like it was shot like right. movies, but like, but I had such a small part that, um, and, and while I was doing it and I had such a small part that I could also, I did my first movie, which was uh, like a Roger Corman uh, creature feature. Uh, yeah which was cool as hell. Like, I yeah, was like, awesome. Those are so fun to do. It was, I mean, I was in Hawaii for two weeks and, and coming back to my tiny little part on, on a TV show, it was, it, and the show, the coolest thing, the show aired on the armed forces network. And huh. so I had like, I had like ranger but- buddies that were like, they were like, I hate you because <laughs> You're only in one out of like every 10 of these episodes. I know they're going to watch them all. We're all watching them. <laughs> <laughs> Two years prior, I had been over there, with, you know, and they're in Afghanistan yeah. watching. It was, it made me feel like a uh, cool hand. Luke is old, old, old Joshy boy out there <laughs> kissing girls on the camera. <laughs> but that's amazing. Did they, did any of them know that that was your aspiration? Everyone knew it. Everyone oh, knew. everyone knew. So, like, that must have been really cool for them and cool for you for them to be like, man, he damn did it. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was, I mean, yeah. Yeah. The, the, the vision that you had of being on the other side of that equation, you, you did that within two years. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. awesome. I, I started doing it. <laughs> well, but yeah, I just we mean, all, like. We, but we all started doing it. <laughs> right. But just the fact that you were on the TV that they had the, and, and you were giving them joy and it happened. I don't know. Like uh, that, that just, I don't know. Like to me, that no, 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 I love, I love it. I love it. Uh, and, and like I had, but I had one, one guy, 
uh, one of the one of my first movies I did. Uh, it was called Wolf Town, which I love. My buddy is my well. Um, whatever. I'm gonna see him at Comic Con, and uh, he's on a, a show uh, called Resident Alien, and he hates he hates that every time. Every time I hang out with him, I play this movie on YouTube. Like, if, if, like I just thought I'll put it on. He hates it so much, and I love it so much because of the. But one of my one of my Ranger buddies messaged me on like MySpace, I think, or Facebook, or I think it might have been MySpace. He was like, yeah. "Hey, man, picked up a, a pirated copy of Wolf Town," and then two hours later, I got another message: "You owe me a dollar." <laughs> 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 that's amazing that's amazing um that. all right so 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 you're working you're you're doing some work right away and uh and then i mean you've done some like when when did the major motion pictures come into play like the oh transformers well yeah and jarhead and like like um well jarhead happened after one life to live uh, okay yeah that all right it but, was so when I moved back to LA and I was like, all right, gotta, gotta step things up. And, and, uh, yeah, Jarhead, we, we didn't know it was called Jarhead too, uh, until we got to Bulgaria. Um, but that's, I mean, I got to meet Stallone and actually I really love that movie. It's just, it's not, it's not Jarhead. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's just, straight to video jarhead 2 but it did create jarhead 3 and 4 uh because it made a whole bunch of movie uh, or money money yeah, yeah. sure honestly uh, like universal loved it and and we worked our butts off. i have a broken shoulder for half the movie and you can't tell i challenge you to to tell oh so that, that wasn't is. that wasn't a character trait josh had a broken shoulder no i broke my shoulder doing a stunt in bulgaria that i there's a reason we should have stuntmen. I mean, <laughs> oh, man, but I was like, I was like, I can do it. It's right. fine. Oh man. Um, uh, I'm so I'm very I'm very protective of my body now. Uh, as good for you. <laughs> should have. Been. Um, all right. So so how was tell us about the one life experience? Because then you you got on one life uh, after doing that was post Transformers and post that stuff. So was the idea of was it just like, hey, cool, let's get on a, let's have a job, and or was it about moving to New York? What, what, what a, in uh, representation I mean, wise, like honestly, honestly, all right, yeah. uh, I, 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 I was married very briefly, um, and I was going through a divorce, and I was, wanted nothing more than to move away from Los Angeles for a moment or two. Uh, it was hard to every car I saw that looked like hers was was her like. And um, I was doing Transformers and I, I mostly, I got the Transformers gigs because I wasn't, I was, well, because I was a special operations soldier and I didn't look terrible on camera and I could act a little bit, you know, like that. So that it, yeah. How, how prominently featured is your military training on your resume? Like how, is, does that, is that part of the pitch that your reps use for certain projects? I didn't let them for the longest time because I didn't want I I didn't want to be typecast. And then I had I had a buddy who's who's a pretty pretty good. Well, he's a great he's a great writer and director. Um, he was like, why, mm. why are, why are you afraid of being typecast as a hero? <laughs> and like, and I was like, you're right. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was that was after i had booked one life to live and i i felt that's one of the things i loved about uh like establishing myself as like a character and and it's it's been i think i, I don't know if i was right but i know like i've met with after unreal i met with casting directors like my old manager like put me, set me up on general meetings and they were like yeah i never thought of you as anything but a soldier but now mm. you're 
and the irony is like my character on Unreal was just he's literally operating a camera, which is the same as a machine gun system. Like it's it's <laughs> it's, it's, it's a team. It's it's the same thing. Just it doesn't shoot bullets. It shoots film. Like right. It was, That's so funny. I was like, yeah. It's just context. Uh, it's like oh, there's it's 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 just uh, yeah. And it's on Lifetime, so that's that was the maybe that's why they're like I'm watching a Lifetime show and he's on it, so he's soft and cuddly. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but you like, I mean, the one life experience. You know, you're going from that was the first. I know you did your telenovela stuff, but like that's the first time you probably had more that, material I've done, than I've done True Blood. I was in the pilot for True Blood, and I with uh, with some some GH people as well, uh, uh, and. I had, uh, I mean, I'd done guest stars, um, but the the truth of the matter is, is I, I really love acting. Like, mm. I really love acting and it's, it's fun to work. Like, I mean, Steve, I wish, I mean, whatever. Uh, I, I, I wish I could have worked with you. I wish, I hope, actually, I hope I get to work with you. There you go. Thank you. Um, you never know, you never know. Um, but I, I love, I love working with Bradford. Um, I love it with, I love it. I, I, I love, I love, I love acting. So it's, it's like, to me, it's like, uh, cause I, I do a lot of like 3d printing and, and like computery stuff. And it feels the same way as when you, write a computer program and it runs properly that's what a scene feels like like when when a group of people work to get, all right stop sorry that's my alexa's uh oh whatever um so josh let me ask you this though how, how long how long have you been airing on general hospital right now uh probably a month oh wow really i think probably yeah cup couple few months i think maybe two months maybe yeah. no, I've, I've been, i mean i've been on since may 1st it was my dad's birthday when i which they really love it when i work <laughs> <laughs> um that's amazing may 1st when i started uh work but is it when you started filming or when you started airing filming really okay yeah i guess so yeah, yeah. Um, That's cool, I, I, maybe we're just so far ahead because, uh, it, it just seems like we've done a lot and like those we've two months. each other our whole lives. I mean, <laughs> um, yeah. so That's a good, I mean, okay. It's a good group over there. Good, good people over there. So, um, it, it's interesting. Time, I, I, I was talking to Steve and I, I, I was like, one of the questions that I, uh, training, cause I, I got a sense, you told me a little bit about mm -hmm. what, Training for your premiere on General Hospital, parachuting in shirtless, versus training in the military. What? How do you approach those differently? <laughs> it doesn't matter how you look in the military. Okay, fair enough. It, there you go. And I should have trained up more. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I promise. I was very, very. I was good at not needing to look good but being good at my job I, I i was i was never that's why i was i was a team leader when i was uh i was 20. i i uh, my i literally in in iraq we uh my my gun team everyone was older than me but i was the team leader and and you can you can ask them if you want to like vet them uh they uh they would acknowledge I could do everything. I was technically and tactically as, if not better, more proficient than them, um, which is, which is the, that's the job you have. Yeah. To do sure. that. Otherwise people aren't going to follow you into combat. Uh, right. Sure. It's a hard, it's a hard thing when you, when it's, <laughs> when you gotta be uh, shirtless on TV uh, and memorize 30 pages uh yes <laughs> like, it's like, well and then and not just like stand and speak but be in a welcome. pool wrapped up in a parachute with a and like have to negotiate your harness and have to 
and like, meet people also and meet meeting, people meeting that was people. like i was literally meeting you guys <laughs> that was one of the that was one of the toughest first days i've ever seen for anybody in terms of what you had to contend with man i hope that's true because i i i i, I do feel i feel more comfortable now as well i hope I yeah told, I told, uh kelly i was like yeah i don't if if, if it's this hard always i'm gonna have to she was like what are you gonna cancel your contract i was like i can't i can't do this <laughs> it's so hard <laughs> yeah it's a, yeah it's a lot man it's a lot you know it's i know lot. but I, and a lot of people I, I i don't know if i don't know if you guys talk about it because you guys have been doing it for so long a lot of people don't talk about the difficulty of this genre like no well yes. that's what i wasn't sure did you get some was one life to live informative in that way did was it as like were we they do going a lot slower than we go now like it seemed to me that maybe <laughs> it, you had like they did go slower we had more rehearsals and the 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 uh you know you were allowed to hang out more uh the yeah man, no one had oh sure there. like it was and yeah. right you, know, you had more time uh, yeah. of course yeah but yeah, we do. We do talk about it because, you know, look, there's people on the show, you know, my buddy who played uh, kind of he was in under five and then he became uh, Dirk Cheatwood, who plays he played my bodyguard basically for a long time. He played Max, uh -huh. Max and Max and Diane were together. But he always said he goes, if I had to do what you guys do line wise, I couldn't do it. Like he just couldn't do it. Yeah. Like he'd have 10 pages and he goes, I can't do this. Like, this is crazy. You know, and then when you have 30 pages, 40 pages a day for years, you know, it's just, you just got to, it's, you're thrown into the fire, man. I mean, we see it all the time when people would come in, couldn't handle it. They're like, oh, this guy's great. And then he couldn't handle it. Then he's out. He's gone. You know, it's like, you got to be able to handle it. So sounds like you're doing an awesome job though. I appreciate it. I, I'm, 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 I'm getting there. I, I really hyper analyzed it for a while uh, when I first got on GH because uh, not growth hormone, uh, General Hospital. Um, <laughs> I literally, I was like, I kind of thought my brain would click the way it did on One Life. But if you, if you get used, I mean, the past few shows that I've done, uh, they're, they're, they're great and primetime dramas or well yeah they don't hire me for comedies whatever uh and but like i have like a week to do a scene you know <laughs> right yeah yeah it's yeah. insanely yeah. different right and it looks it looks very cool on like like because it's like boom, boom, bah, like the camera moves right. and stuff and it it's like but the actual work uh is 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 much harder uh which i i I'm, I'm really happy i'm happy and i hope i hope people enjoy it but uh i'm happy to be getting better at just acting like truthfully like it's awesome well, well you're in a good place you're in a good place that's the, right because you get to do a lot you're, of it you're in basic training right now buddy i and know I, no but honestly the, yeah well, but know. the thing is you have you have that foundation it's it's i i you know, I think allowing yourself to in, enjoy it and not be so self-critical will will is and, you're getting and to that. You know place. what? There's no re there's no reruns, so it doesn't matter. Yes. You get that it. is it, it really is. It's a really beautiful thing. It's like you can one hundred percent. Let it go. Like yeah. like when you're doing I mean, a movie and doing stuff that you've done, Josh. It's there forever, bro. I know. I have. Right? There. GH is not like yeah, it just goes away the next day. And you're like, oh, I you suck work, so bad. You get a new it. chance. Yeah. It's yeah. Awesome. It's really beautiful. I, 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 that's one of the things I, I loved about like the only scenes on One Life to Live. My, my buddy that's taking me to Comic Con. His name is Dan Harmon. He's a, he's a, oh, created community. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. We're, uh, well, we're kind of best friends now. Uh, he's one of my best buddies. Tell uh, him to write you a comedy. He likes to write comedies. Tell him to write one and put you in it. He's writing stuff. It's it's fine. He actually, I'm gonna try and get him on General Hospital. He wants to be on General Hospital. I'm not kidding. I love. I would love that. That's funny. It'd be great. No, he's he's awesome. He's, uh, he's at, wait as a writer. No, as um, a extra. and 
viewer. Uh, he he loves soap operas. He loves the storyline. He he admires how they construct stories. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know if I should have mentioned that, but whatever. Anyways. Uh, well, if, we can cut it if you need to. If you're telling the truth, <laughs> you're not lying. Uh, <laughs> Simple wisdom. So, well, but I, you know, all I want to say is that, like, I think uh, I, I, our character dynamics is really fun because my character doesn't trust you, uh, doesn't, has, is convinced at this point that he doesn't even like you. Um, but your your character is persuasive and uh, and lingers so uh, i'm curious I'm, I'm i'm curious to see how our characters will uh, uh our relationship will evolve and i i think there's a lot of fun to be had and i'm looking forward to it spinelli yeah yeah he so this guy's black this guy knows about my uh well what's the, we'll, we'll bring you stay back tuned. when this story comes out stay tuned yes but uh Perfect. he uh he likes to get dirt on people and exploit them but he does it with a smile so there you go uh, yeah that's it it's great it's great it. so uh well yeah. uh we're happy to have you on gh yeah, thanks, thanks for spending Josh, time with us today this. this was fun man <clears throat> well thank you uh, i'm sorry if i talk too much uh that's the whole point that's so that's what a podcast is <laughs> yeah if people want to if people want to find out more about you uh whether I, I know you're on instagram is there any place that we can direct our our, our listeners to, to to spend more time with you outside of this um not really uh <laughs> just joking jk on instagram and Twitter, right yes I, I think okay um, awesome man man it's it's honestly it's an honor to to be a a, a part of your guys history yeah, uh and uh I, I i've watched both of you guys on tv for a, for a while and I, i'm not even a big soap watcher sure uh but that that kind of says something about how how good you guys both are um i I'm, I'm really honored to be able to talk with you guys uh like uh regular people yeah, Thanks, dude. yeah. Me, me, a good old Spinelli. We had a good run there for a while. Yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> no, I, lo I love, I love what you guys are doing. I love this. I love the show. I love the, I, I like the idea of having like a stage show and talking about stuff. And oh, ah. amazing, so fun. We get, to have, we so get fun. to have a lot of fun, man. So, yeah. um, all right. Well, enjoy, enjoy the rest of your break because uh, we're we're back. You're not there next week. I don't think I'm there next week. Um, so. Yeah. So, uh, from Comic -Con. extended, yeah. Comic -Con. so that's a full four weeks off then pretty much. Right. A full, basically the whole month oh, of July was crazy. off. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. I was going to say, cause your hair is longer than it was. You haven't got a haircut <laughs> since I saw you. Now. I, I mean, I went to Alaska and there you go. Nice. Yeah. So, um, all right. Well, I'm sure I'll see you there uh, very soon. And I look forward I to it. I can't wait, man. We got, cause we, our story has to have some sort of some. A resolution. There's going to be, there's some something. I'm assuming you're going to have, you're probably going to make me lose in some way. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know who gets to be. I'm not sure if there will be a victor. It might just be all victims. We may, we may just all suffer. I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm, I mean, were I a betting man and I will bet you, and I am a betting man. So uh, <laughs> I, uh, I think my character, I think your character is going to win over with me. All right. Uh, great. For a Great. little bit. And then we're probably yeah. going to be real friends instead of like manipulative friends. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, stay tuned, everybody. And Thanks, uh, Josh. follow, follow Josh at Just Joking JK um, or, or not. I'm not sure he. Uh... You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> but awesome. I appreciate it if you do. Thank you guys so much. Honestly. Awesome. Honestly. No, man. Thank you, bro.